welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a Q&A video. I did a chit chat get ready with me video and I answered a couple of questions, but seeing the feedback on that video, I figured why not just finish answering some more questions that you guys asked me on my Instagram page. So let me go ahead and pull up the questions because it's been about a week-ish now. So let me pull them up. Okay, so I found all of the questions right here and there was a lot of questions. So I'm gonna try to answer as many as I can without making this video 100 years long. So bear with me. All right, so let's go ahead and start. And these questions are absolutely random. They're from different topics, marriage life, dogs, school, everything. The first question I saw is, do you plan on having another dog? And funny story, when I first got Milo, which is my dog, I actually freaked out the first night. I actually didn't want to keep him. I was, I've never had a dog before. None of, nobody in my family has ever had a dog. So it was like a complete first time experience. He was crying, he was peeing, he was pooping everywhere. I did a research in terms of the breed and stuff, but like, no matter how much research you do, I feel like you have to kind of just experience it from your for your own and just like be a dog owner for yourself in order to actually learn things because I think like every dog is different. So I kind of freaked out on the first day and I wanted to take him back the next day. Thankfully, I didn't. And then once I got to know him and kind of see what he does and just adjust to having him at my home, I felt so bad because I wanted him to have a companion. And I was like, when we're out all day, he's here by himself. Like, what is he going to do? Since we're talking about him, might as well get him. He's just here roaming all over the place. But yeah, like I was saying, I wanted to get him a companionship. So when I had got him, we left his sister behind. So I was so sad. I was like, what if she's not going to get a home or anything like that? So I was really sad. And then I thought about it. I should totally go back and get his sister. And I'm low-key glad I did not. I was trying to convince everyone. I was trying to convince my husband. Hold on. Milo doesn't want to be carried <laughs> but I was trying to convince my husband to like let's get another dog and my parents I was like I think it would be a great idea for him to get an for me to get another dog another dog even though I live by myself and I like I moved out of my parents house and I'm a adult I still call my parents for like everything so they were like I'm telling you you don't want two dogs that's a lot and I'm so glad I didn't get another dog because He's a lot of work, he's still not potty trained, and homeboy is just low-key disrespectful sometimes, so I'm kind of glad I didn't get another dog, and I don't know, I might want another dog in the future, I do want like a bigger dog, but he's perfect, and I think I'm good with one dog for now. So another dog question is, what type of dog breed is Milo? And Milo is a Yorkie, so... I wanted a small dog and he actually got bigger than I thought he would because at first he was super duper tiny but within the last five months that, he, that he's been here he's grown so much but he's a Yorkie. Do you ever straighten your hair now that you're fully transitioned? I actually have never straightened my hair after being 100% natural. I straightened my hair four years ago and that was the last time I ever put heat in my hair in terms of like straightening it and I honestly do not plan on straightening my hair again I don't I feel like I just won't enjoy it as much I like my curls I like the volume I like how fun and diverse they are and yeah I don't think I'll straighten my hair so I have not straightened my hair and I don't think I will either what ethnicity is your husband if you don't mind me asking so my husband is Dominican Puerto Rican and Cuban when styling your hair, do you add products all the way to the root? The answer is yes. A lot of people neglect the roots and it honestly depends on your hair texture. Some textures, if your hair is looser and wavier and it gets oily quicker, they don't apply products to the roots because that's just going to make their hair get oily quicker. So for me, my hair is super curly, so it takes a longer time for the oil in my scalp to travel down my hair. So I definitely always add the same amount of product to my roots so that my roots are super defined as well along with the rest of my hair. That way it looks all uniformed and put together. So I definitely do add products from my roots all the way to my ends. How do you cleanse your scalp? I cleanse my scalp by doing apple cider vinegar rinses or when you shampoo your hair, whenever I'm shampooing my hair, I typically just stick to the roots because I don't want to over dry the rest of my hair. So I typically stick within the roots and 
that's how I clarify my that's how I clean my scalp but majority of the times it's apple cider vinegar apple cider vinegar has so many great cleansing properties it brings shine into your hair and it just restores the pH level so I absolutely love using apple cider vinegar rinse and if you haven't tried it you totally should because i think it would totally change your hair <laughs> mine was just staring at me it's so funny so this next question is how come your husband waited until you guys were married to move in so for those of you who don't know my husband and i are both christian and we were born and raised christian so from the day we met each other we knew that's something we wanted to do we wanted to just, I don't know how to explain it, but we wanted to be obedient. We wanted to just honor God and do things, I guess, old school way. So we decided to just wait until marriage to do everything. And we did, <laughs> thankfully. Do you work with other influencers who aren't as big as you? That's a funny question because I actually don't consider myself a big influencer. I just don't I just consider myself as a regular other person but I do work with other influencers I've worked with a couple in terms of working I, I am assuming you mean collaborating and I've collaborated with a couple different influencers I would say like three or four max but it's just you know people's schedule is different or people just don't live in New York so like if you want to collaborate I totally like I'm totally down for that and I have collaborated with people um, but it's not something that I'm just like every day like, hey, let's make a video. Hey, let's do this. But I'm totally open to collaborating with other influencers. Why did you decide to get married during the week and not the weekend? So our wedding was very, how would I explain it? Spontaneous, to say the least. We were just not traditional people. We decided to do things very differently. We wanted to do it on February 20th, 2020. And that kind of happened spontaneously so we made it happen that day and everything worked out but yeah i think that answers that question i'm gonna make a whole separate video on like our wedding and like what we did why we did what we did but that's gonna come later on because i do want my husband to be in it he's not really a camera person but it's our story to tell so i do want him to be part of the video but yeah so all the wedding detail stuff i would definitely make a live live update live update i would definitely do a live update video for you guys to fill you guys in on what we did, how we did it, and why we did what we did. When you cocktail different products together, does it vary in drying time? Absolutely, because some products are thicker than others. So whenever a product is much thicker and you apply a lot of it, it can take a very long time to dry. And then there's other products that are super lightweight and airy and they dry within like two to three hours. So absolutely, depending on the thickness, and it also depends on how much product you put in it. Someone asked, how was the talking stage between you and your husband? Uh, so the talking stage, we actually talked, which some people say is dated before like you dated. We talked for eight or nine months, which was crazy because I thought he was never going to ask me out. I'm like, we've been talking for like eight months, but that time like that time frame eight to nine months we were talking but we were also friends like we were really getting to know each other and we were literally just like little bffs like we would talk to each other every day but we also had like our own people that we like liked at the time so it wasn't really like hardcore intentional intentionally like i'm just talking to you type of thing if that makes sense like how would i explain it because i'm a loyalist like if i'm talking to you i'm talking to you and that's it but i feel like at the time when we first started we were really just good friends so we would talk to each other about our crush or who like or who we liked at the time so it wasn't really like talking talking but then it turned into talking talking does that make sense like we were talking for like eight months but we were also friends during that time so does that count I don't know I think it counts because I just think it does but it was cool we were really close friends and we talked all the time we would hang out all the time but it was like as friends you know until it wasn't <laughs> how long does it take to do your hair if you mean like the styling portion to do my hair I would say like 20 minutes max it's super quick because I do it all the time it depends on the techniques it depends if I'm finger coiling if I'm 
doing the rake and shake method if I'm using the diamond brush which is typically what I always do I use the diamond brush that takes about like 20 minutes or 15 minutes depending on how many products I'm applying to my hair what is the jojoba oil you use on your face I think she's referring to a story I did a couple months ago when my face was like super dry I went on Amazon and I got 100% pure jojoba oil because it's supposed to be really good for your skin and I was slathering that on my skin for about a good month and it helped clear out my acne and it also helped just rejuvenate my skin so I honestly just purchased it from Amazon and it's 100% pure jojoba oil. Where did you get your pink couch? So I got my pink couch from Wayfair it's actually called a futon and if you go on Wayfair and you search futon I'm sure it's still there it is my favorite couch I don't really use it Milo gets more use out of it because it's right by the window, but it's super comfortable and it turns into a bed. And I love it because it's pink. I mean, who doesn't want a pink couch? Maybe not everybody, but I always learn a pink couch. <laughs> when you do Mask Monday, do you do it on clean hair? Funny you said that because I really, really, really want to start Mask Mondays again. I know I always say that, but it's just so hard for me to like post on a schedule because I'm literally all over the place. I'm very spontaneous. I kind of film just randomly when I'm like in a mood to do it. But I really do want to get myself back on a Mass Monday schedule because I absolutely loved filming Mass Monday videos. I have a ton of new deep conditioners to try and to share with you guys. So I definitely do want to start Mass Mondays, but on Mass Mondays, I always do it on clean hair. There's probably like two or three older videos that I didn't put a hair mask on my hair while it was clean. But for the most part, I always, always deep condition my hair on clean hair because I feel like it just gives me the best results and it works better that way. What did you do for work before you did YouTube? And before doing YouTube, I was actually working at HSBC Bank in the city on 42nd and 5th Avenue. I was there for like a year and I liked it. I really liked it until like towards the end when I really started enjoying doing YouTube videos and hair content. I was like, I could like take a shot at this and like try to do this full time. And I had a lot of people encouraging me to do so. So I took a leap of faith. And I'm so glad I did. Does your husband complain that your house is super girly? <laughs> That's so funny. Um, he doesn't complain because like complaining is not gonna get you anywhere, but he does like my house is not super girly. At least I don't like to think it is. There's just a lot of white and gold. I guess that makes it girly. He doesn't complain about it, but he definitely says for like our future home. He doesn't want it to be all white and gold, which I can totally respect. So we're going to compromise there. But I feel like guys don't really care about the home, especially since he's moving in. Like, I don't think he he doesn't really like want to change anything. And he knows that I work from home and I shoot from like different angles. So he doesn't really like like he's chill. He's super chill. He's super dope. Like he's not like. Oh my god, you have too much pink or you my god, you have too much this. He just says I have a lot of white and gold. And that's it. <laughs> How do you get the confidence to start your channel? Oh my god. So I think my first video that I ever posted on YouTube was I want to say 2015. Like I want to look for it, but I I would have to like do it in my computer, but I think it was 2015 and it was like a double dutch it was like a French braid. What was the video? And it was like a, the two French braids that you do? The two Dutch braids. There you go, the Dutch braids. I honestly have no idea because I feel like that was so long ago and now I just feel so much more natural. But I think I just did it. Like I mentioned, I'm a very spontaneous person and when I think about something, I just do it. I actually do remember my very first video was a what's in my bag, in my bag video. But that video never made it. That was back in the time where my hair was always straight, when I used to straighten my hair. For some reason, I didn't like the video and I just didn't post it and I didn't start my channel back then. But for some reason, when I went into like my transitioning journey, I had I gained like the confidence to sit in front of a camera and talk. So I don't know. I was very spontaneous and I just did it. So if you want to start a channel, girl, don't overthink it. Just get a camera or use your phone, sit in front of it and act like you're talking to yourself and just film whatever the heck you want to film. Okay. Okay. I feel like I've answered a couple questions and I don't want this video to be super long. 
I don't want this video to be super duper long, so I'm going to answer one more question. And this question is, how is marriage life going so far? Does it feel different than just being girlfriend and boyfriend? Absolutely, it does feel different because like I mentioned earlier in the video, we are now living together, we're sharing a space. I work from home, so I'm adjusting from, I used to be a night owl, I still low-key am a night owl, so I used to film my videos, at, I used to start filming at like 1 a.m., 2 a.m., and I wouldn't go to sleep until like 6 a.m., and now it's like different because now I have to adjust my schedule. I think I talked about this in my previous video in my like chit chat get ready with me but it's going well it's just adjusting my work schedule and making it so that we're not overlapping you know so I'm trying to like figure that situation out because I am a nighttime person I want to be a morning person but I'm still working it out but it is definitely different you're sharing space and you're sharing your little sanctuary with someone else and we have different habits, different things. We have different upbringings. So it's just kind of like learning how to deal with that and like adjusting. But overall, it's great. It's fun. I have someone to always talk to. I have someone to always be here with, to watch shows with me and just hang out and be great together. So it's good. We're adjusting. <laughs> so that concludes this Q&A video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope I answered some of your questions. If you have any other questions, please leave a comment down below and let me know what questions you have. And thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.